The seventh annual State of the UK Climate Report has been published by us here at the Met Office. It's a really important document that monitors weather observations across the country for a whole calendar year. This latest report looking at 2020. It's a really important report because it helps us to put the UK climate into context to see exactly how our climate is changing. The State of the UK Climate Report looks at not just 12 months of weather, but also the most recent decade and compares both to the long term climate records. Here at the Met Office, we keep and have access to some of the oldest and best kept weather data observations in the world. And so we're able to make detailed comparisons and monitor closely the changes we're experiencing. OK, let's have a look at some of the key findings. The UK's climate is already changing and we can see this in the observations from the report. 2020 was warmer, wetter and sunnier than average. In fact, for the first time, records for temperature, rainfall and sunshine all ranked within the top 10. No other year has fallen in the top 10 for all three variables for the UK and records for all three go back for at least 100 years. Breaking it down further now and uh, taking a look at the temperatures first. 2020 was the third warmest year for the UK in a series from 1884 and also the third warmest for central England in a series that dates all the way back to 1659. In fact, all of the UK's top 10 warmest years in a series going back to 1884 have occurred since 2002. The top temperature for the year was 37.8 Celsius, recorded in Greater London on the 31st of July, making this the UK's third warmest day on record. This was shortly followed by one of the most significant heat waves of the past 60 years in early August, with southern England experiencing a succession of days exceeding 34 Celsius and many tropical nights. That's when the temperature doesn't fall below 20 Celsius. Sunshine was also present in abundance in 2020, which was recorded as the eighth sunniest year for the UK in a series dating back to 1919. We recorded 9% more than the 1981 to 2010 average. You may of course recall the seemingly endless blue skies that we had during the first lockdown during spring 2020. And in fact, spring of 2020 was the sunniest spring on record. And in fact, sunnier than most summers. It included individual months breaking records as well. We had the sunniest April on record and the sunniest May. As for wintry weather events, well, 2020 was one of the least snowy years on record. Whilst widespread and substantial snow events have occurred in 2018, 2013, 2010 and 2009, their number and severity have generally been in decline since the 1960s. Any snow that did occur in 2020 mainly affected upland and northern areas and there were no major widespread snow events. Frosts also appeared to be on the decline in 2020. It was the seventh consecutive year where both air and ground frosts were below the 1981 to 2010 average. The number of air and ground frosts were both fourth lowest in the series from the winter of 1960 into 61. I mentioned earlier that rainfall was also above average and that is consistent with recent patterns. In fact, 2020 was the UK's fifth wettest year in a series from 1862. This series also indicates that six of the top 10 UK wettest years have occurred since 1998. And if we look at just England and Wales, and February 2020 was the wettest to have occurred in a series dating back to 1766. Despite only comprising 29 days, this was the fourth wettest of over 1,900 months. So we had the wettest February on record in 2020. But before that, we had the wettest December in 2015, April and June in 2012, and November in 2009. So five out of 12 months have had their wettest on record in just over a decade. 
the 3rd of October 2020 and the 15th of February 2020 were two of the three wettest days on record UK wide in over 47,000 days from 1891. Remarkably, four of the 41 days in this series with a UK total exceeding 20 millimetres occurred in 2020. Contributing heavily to the February rainfall were storms Kira and Dennis, which arrived within a week of each other. And they weren't the only storms to be making the headlines in 2020. In terms of wind gusts, Storm Ellen and Storm Francis were two of the strongest August storms to hit the UK in the past 50 years. There were a total of 10 named storms that affected the UK at some point during 2020 and that makes it actually a fairly typical year in terms of storminess compared to recent decades. Since the end of 2020, the weather has continued to make headlines. Some notable cold snaps occurred during the first four months of 2021 with hard frosts persisting well into spring. Record high temperatures were also recorded in March and then May was a very much wetter affair compared to 2020. Most recently, of course, the Met Office issued their first ever extreme heat warning. All of this, of course, will be fully documented in the next report, but it just goes to emphasise further why understanding and observing the weather closely and accurately is more important now than ever.